Hey guys, you're back with Topless Baker. Now you went absolutely wild for my mirror glaze video. And I want to show you another technique which is next level. It is called the spider web effect and it looks amazing. Now, you should watch my other mirror glaze video first because I'm using the exact same technique. But what we're gonna do is add another level which gives it this spidey web effect. So what I've got here is some mirror neutral, okay? I've got 100 grams of this and I'm gonna add it into a Pyrex jar. And I'm gonna scoop this all in, just like that. And then once that is in, I've got six grams of titanium dioxide, okay? And this is like a whitening powder. So I'm gonna pour this in to my mixture as well. And when you stir this together, just watch the color change, okay? It goes this incredibly bright white color and it looks absolutely amazing. You just wanna stir this together until you've got a really nice kind of thick paste. Now, a lot of you always ask me, can you swap out these ingredients for anything else? I've tried a million recipes for this, but this is the one that works. So I'll leave links down below for where I got all these products. But what we're gonna do now is put this in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds. What we are looking to do is get this to between 50 and 60 degrees C, and that is the temperature that makes this liquid spread. So I'm gonna go put this in the microwave, and then we can come back and we can glaze our entremet. Okay, so I've heated this up in the microwave. I've got my entremet ready, I've got my mirror glaze ready. I'm gonna add a splash of color to this. I've got some blue food coloring, which I'm just gonna drop in and give this a real spike of blue. And we're gonna give this a good mix until everything is combined. And we get that really nice bright color. That's exactly what we're looking for. And once that is all mixed, I'm gonna pour this onto a tray because what we're gonna do is dip our palette knife in the tray, swipe it across, and it's gonna look good. So pour it into the tray, just like this. Create a nice little line that you can dip your palette knife into, just like that. And then, guys, we are ready to glaze. Are you ready? Let's go. So take your mirror glaze base, which I've kind of marbled with some pink, and I wanna kind of pour that all over the top, just like that. And then you're gonna take that lovely blue mixture that you made earlier, take a palette knife and just swipe that across. And you'll see that blue just spreads out. You get that web spider effect look that you're looking for. And that is just an absolute mirror glaze showstopper right there. And look at the effect you get. I mean, come, come a little closer to me. And what we're gonna look at here, you just see these lovely little dots of spider web, this really bright blue line running through your cake. And then these little nests of intricate webs dotted all over the cake. And it looks so good. And then once this has stopped dripping, what we're gonna do, like we did last time, take a knife, you just wanna trim off some of these little droplets. Just get them away. You can also use scissors if you want. And we're just gonna clean those up until there's nothing left. And then we can plate this baby up to serve. Okay, so here we go, guys. It's actually a hot day for once here in London, so my spiderweb glaze is melting on me. But there's only one thing to do, which I forgot to do last time, and that is eat. My delicious cake. Take a big bite. Look at that, you've got the glaze, you've got the passion fruit mousse. Mmm. That is good. Okay guys, I hope you like this new technique. You've got to try it out on your mirror glaze cakes. And I'll catch you guys next week for more Topless Baker goodness. See you later. Bye. It's unbelievable, Matt. Looks okay. It's unbelievable. <laughs>